Keep watching Charis TV. And worthy of respect. Whatever is right and confirmed by God's word, whatever is pure and wholesome, whatever is lovely and bring peace, whatever is admirable and of good repute, if there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think continually on these things. Center your mind on them and implant them in your heart. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for this word. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Uh, you will understand why I'm reading this verse. I think we, we robbed ourselves. We have robbed ourselves and teach about how to receive a blessing. And we talk about receiving blessing. Then our lifestyle. It is our lifestyle that is followed by the blessings. It is not the blessings that we need. It is the character of Christ that we need. If we start to live the way the Bible is teaching us, blessings, every all kinds of our needs will be met. So now, Paul wrote to Philippians about the same thing. He said on the last stand of that verse, think of these things. You know what Paul was teaching? He was teaching about honesty. Honesty tells you that other people are running for blessings. But you maintain the character. People are running for blessings. But maintain a character. So honesty is so important. Let's talk about honesty today. What is honesty? Truthfulness. Truthfulness, no deceit. We need to be in truth. In whatever we do. If you are here, say I hear. How many people are going to be in truth? And they will stay truthful. In everything they do. No deceit. No wickedness. And then also know what? Whatever that is contrary to the word of God. When you are honest, the Bible considers you that you are upright. There's one man that was mentioned before God. The Bible. the Bible says Job was without blame. He was upright. But the Bible says he was rich. He was very rich. When God looked around, he found that there was no one like him. No deceit. That God was proud about. If we read that verse, it says, read that verse again. The things that we, verse 
Rebale mola go verse 18 ne reba e refinally believe us. Yes. Whatever is true. True. Whatever is honorable. Honorable. And worthy of respect. Worthy of respect. Whatever is right and confirmed by God's word. Whatever is right. Mhm. But not only right confirmed. Ntwe lokileng e bile le ntjela motimo le itempela. Okay? Whatever is pure and wholesome. Purity. Uhweka. Uh-huh. Yara, whatever is lovely and brings peace. Peace. Kucho. Uh-huh. Whatever is admirable and of good repute. Good reputation. Ovali mutala umobozi. If uh-huh. there is any excellence. Uh-huh. If there is anything worthy of praise. Uh-huh. Think continually on these things. Let us not uh, bring excellence. Praise. These six, six things are important. I just want to tell you what are those six things. The, the first one is true. Truth. Let me just read myself. The first one is truth. Yautoma. Ngo. The second one is honorable. Utompiwa. Baona tompo. The third one is right confirmed by the word. Waema motukong. Ei tempechu inkili inji. What is right? Ki inye nukile. Confirmed. Yabaya tampelo kali inju. It's good to have a girlfriend is right. But is it confirmed by the word? Is it right to have a girlfriend? Is it confirmed by the word? It's so nice to have a boyfriend. Who's buying a grocery? A grocery is nice. A grocery is nice. Including mayonnaise. Le, eh? Le mayonnaise. But is it confirmed by the word? Mara le njula mudi mo ili tu mela na le chona na. It's good to receive money from people. Na wa mo tsu wa mukala ba chale teba tu. How do you receive and what is the reason behind? Oya mukala juang ili ba le ba kala oya mukala kile le ifi. If you take things wrongly, you how chia di lokasi le singiona? You you are deceitful. Deceitful. Oh, yeah, fool. Okay, let's carry on. Pure. Whatever is pure or purity. Purity is your portion. Peace. Is something that you need to do. The peace that the Bible talks about. Bible it's not peace of money. Money does not bring peace. Another money brings another money. When you have this money, you cry to get another money. When you lose this money, it brings another one. So, life with thinking about money, how to get it. Life is not I just want to dwell on this. Peace that I'm talking about is peace with God. If I do this, I don't have peace. Talking about peace with God. Reputation. Good reputation. That you can be example in your family. We know this one is a Christian. Because he is following the scriptures. This is what makes us to be honest. Amen. Amen. Psalm 34. Psalm 34. Verse 13. Verse 13. Psalm 34, 13. Yes. It says, Keep your tongue from evil 
and your lips from speaking deceit. Now you can hear that we have ability to be honest. Is when we keep our tongue and we don't allow our lips to speak this age. Keep our tongue. You know, we need to reach a level where we need to keep quiet. Because ability to speak to inspire others might not be of taking advantage to them. We are going to be judged by everyone. We need to know that speaking deceit and we get all what that we want. One day, we will find ourselves punished by God. So we have got ability to keep our mouth our tongue to make sure that our lips are not split Whoever is able to control his tongue, the Bible says he's become a perfect Bible. Be able to control your tongue. You'll be a perfect man. Luke 16 verse 10. Luke 16 verse 10. Like I said, I won't talk until I give you scripture. Coming here without a Bible, he says, it's not good He was faithful in a very little thing. He's also faithful in much. He will be dishonest in a little thing you will be dishonest in much you know that scripture is telling us that all of us we, we can be failed to be judged somewhere but all of us will be just in honesty because honesty does not ask you what is it that you have. Honesty doesn't ask anyone where do you come from? Who gave birth to you? Do you have inheritance? Honesty checked yourself as a person. You'll be checked in honesty when you have nothing even when you have all you know some of the things that why God is not blessing us is teaching us to be honest because he knows when you can have all this it's going to rain your character sometimes God will never give you some certain things he will allow you to go in a process if he loves you any delay before God teaches you to be perfect and you can be perfect if you are honest because you can be perfect if you are honest sometimes you find people say I want a job I have many Christians in our church that gave me a promise you know the day I get a job my first salary I will give you I say ah, you are going to get a job that day when you get a job they will be even afraid to give a testimony because you remember what you said month end 
You see, the person must be able to control his body. If you are hearing me say here, let's read Matthew 6. Matthew 6. Matthew 6. Can we just read from 26? It says, Look at the birds of the air. They neither sow seed nor reap the harvest, nor gather the crops into barns, and yet your heavenly Father keeps feeding them. Are you not worth much more than they? Carry on reading. And who of you, by worrying, can add an hour or an hour to the length of his life? And why are you worried about clothes? See how the lilies and wild flowers of the field grow. They do not labor, nor do they spin wool to make clothing. Yet I say to you that not even Solomon in all his glory and splendor dressed himself like one of these. Stop. But, Amen. Amen. I want to show you this Jesus was teaching about honesty. Why people have to go and worry against God? Why And he said, "Look around you." If you are honest, look ah, around you. In other words, an honest person doesn't worry. Honesty makes you not worry. And Jesus was saying, can you see? And I just If God is able to do all this, what about you when you trust him? Because honesty demands a trust. A person who's not honest doesn't trust God. If you are not honest, you don't trust. You are bound to worry. Look, look at verse 26. We are directed to look at the birds. The birds cannot sow. And Jesus says, Yet. It is your father. Can you hear that? Jesus was saying, It is your father. Who's feeding these birds? And you say you trust your father. And you are worried that your father is not feeding you. You are not honest. You don't know this God. You don't know him. If you know him, look around. Can you just read verse 27 again? Verse 27. And who Ooh. of you, uh -huh. by worrying, can add one hour to the length of his life? My God. Can you hear that verse there? This is a lesson. Where Jesus says, now, after you have worried now, showing, showing that you don't trust this God, what is it that you have benefited by that worry? If truly you trust this God and believe that God can bless you, You'll be honest. You know, an honest person knows that whatever that is not coming in his way, he won't worry about it. Because he knows what is coming to his way. If you go for an interview, and they look around and say, we can't give you a job. Stand up and say, thank you, Jesus. But the way you'll go out, you'll go out hiding like you have a tail. You, you'll go out hiding your own tail. As if, as 
as if your God has failed you. O kare modimo ke ena dir le ngoro palelo. An honest person knows what is coming. Is khanti mutwa se pala o ya tsi bore tseleng ya hayo go taeng. Me when I fail to get something. Ha ke palo tshe o tholang tweetseng. I can't complain. Ha ke bilaela. Because even if I get it. Kar le geng ka itholang tweetse yona. One day I will die and leave it behind. Ta tshele mo ke to go hang ke re ka itwela na mo. And someone will still get it. Ana mutho mo ta ta itshe ya shuma na le yona. Just be honest with yourself. Chana when I know separala o le tinga na mo. Be honest with yourself. Separala le wena o le tinga na mo. Can you just read James? Are yang bokeng ya Jacob. Chapter 5 verse 16. Chapter 5 16. You will see that honesty is difficult. Le tla bona re o ba o bote yena e kita ba e boima. It's a great lesson. Eh ke thuto e kholo kurukudu. Just read that verse. Chapter 5 verse 16 James. Verse 16. Yes. It says therefore confess your sins to one another mm. your false steps your offenses and pray for one another that you may be healed and restored the heart felt stop, stop there you may be healed or fole and restored and do, do you know that offenses and sin Removes you from where God placed you. Offenses and sin. Removes you from where God has placed you. And also, you get attacked. And I hope we are attacking you, baby. Because sin brings sickness. Because the sickness is a malware. Sin itself brings sickness. Sin itself brings sickness. Sin itself brings malware. It identify your soul. See how chilla far jamo ye. And therefore, your flesh is supposed to be affected. Jano na maya how ye affect ya kamara waso. Now the Bible says, confess your sins to one another. Jano bai wili anker li wili li na ne di wichari ndali na. Can you be honest with that? Go wote wote ba la namo. That you were looking. When your wife was not around, you went to propose the care. You can't say that. Because you are afraid to endanger. Not knowing that you have affected your position. You have removed yourself from where God has placed you. And now, Always you are going to struggle with that sin. Can you see why you will be struggling with one thing? Because you are afraid to hurt this one. You are supposed to confess to. And pray. So that you will be restored. And be healed. Now you are afraid. But you don't know that you have removed yourself from where God has placed you. Honesty bring you back. Restored you back. And become the way you are supposed to be. Few people can do that. Few people can do that. I was sitting. When I was sitting, I saw a lady pass. I say I admire that lady. And then I said, I remember. Already you have done that. O se chudi ri leka u hopola. Confess your offenses. Don't want to marry you or bulela. And see why that man come to you. O the position why hopolo ye impitela. It means you are not standing your grounds. O ra ra ya ye mamu swane chungu ye ma. There are things that must never come your way. O ra le di loche adiata me alu takara hopolo ya ha. Night. Which is like darkness and light can Let's be to think meet. I don't know if you're hearing me. I get some lento. Ask somebody. Say, are you honest? Go with your lento. How far when I wear a tepala? To extend that you can confess your offenses. Confess that I'm sorry. 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 I'
I sit down with the person, go will tell me this person said this. And I said, You said this. The person is a man of God. I know you are a man of God. How can you say that? You know I'm a man of God, yes. But it's the same God who says you said. I'm in the presence of God. I cannot say this. I was not surprised by Acts chapter 5. Can you just read Acts chapter 5? From verse 1. Read verse 1. You can see this is what is happening in the church. People are not honest. Read. Now a man named Ananias with his wife Sapphira sold a piece of property mm -hmm. and with his wife's full knowledge and complicity he kept back some of the proceeds bringing only a portion of it and set it at the apostles' feet. Apostles' feet. Okay. But Peter said, Ananias, Ananias, why has Satan filled your heart oh. to lie to the Holy Spirit and secretly keep back for yourself some of the proceeds from the sale of the land? Can you hear that? Amen. Now I can see that people are not honest. They are not aware that the Holy Spirit is looking on them. <laughs> if, if you think God is, is he visits, you are making a mistake. God is in your sitting room. Is in your dining room. Is in your bedroom. These people before they slept. They say, no. This man of God. Won't know anything. Were they honest? No, when we reach there. What if we have? Giving this man of God the whole money. How? How do we give him the whole money? If we give him the whole money, how much are you going to left with? Yeah, amen. And sometimes Christians, you know, they normally talk in tongues. When they finish, they justify what they say. If God bless us, we want you to sell the land. But it's only when we take the land to the church and tell the leaders of the church that we are going to sell this land. And after three years failing to sell, within two weeks, weeks it was so. Two weeks fell as a oh, It means God is blessing us. How much They forget what they said. After we sell, all the money we must give it to children. They were so dishonest. Hey, but They took the money. Look how they plan. You know, if you want to see that, you know, people are really unfaithful. How you And they are so much dishonest. Check how they come to church. Check how they come to church. The husband came first. And said, put money there first. And the wife says, I'll be following. I'll be following. So it will be like we didn't agree. And Peter, through the Holy Spirit, he looked at them and said, Why you allow Satan to fill your heart? When you are dishonest, you are allowing Satan to fill your heart. You are allowing Satan to take over your heart. From there, the fear of God will leave you. This is what is happening in church. People are no longer afraid of God. 
Someone can just sit in the chair. Tithing. Ah, no. Ah, tithing. Nikis. Tithe, uh, tithe. Mm -hmm. Me, tithe. It is an Old Testament. But in New Testament, you are supposed to give all your money. Mara, in New Testament, in the Old Testament, you are supposed to give tenth of it. Old in the New, you must give all. But you say, oh, no, no, mm -hmm. I can't give my money. Because you have got many things. Satan is showing you many things. And you become dishonest. And now death comes. We have got many people who are dead in the church. Dishonest people. <laughs> they only die. They represent the one they have in their heart. You cannot go where you are going with the vision of the church with wrong people. The church of God cannot be established when people are unfaithful and dishonest. Let's read about other people who are also dishonest. John 7, verse 24. Hallelujah. John 7, verse 24. Mola, verse 24. It says, mm -hmm. Do not judge by appearance, uh. meaning superficially and arrogantly, but judge fairly and righteously. Did you hear that? Amen. You don't Kaun judge people because you know them. You judge fairly. That is honesty. You are truthful. There is fairness. Can you see when Someone come to church. When our Lord Jesus Christ was teaching about this. He says when someone come with good apparel. And you put him aside. In front. And another one come with, I mean. Eh? You can say that. Clothes that are torn apart. No, I mean the... Mancheret. Say it again. Mancheret. 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 Clothes that are torn apart. Mancheret. Amen. You know these people who are... Wacheret. I'm sure it's coming from there. I don't know. When someone come with the, with the, with the kerosene the clothes, you look at that person, you put him at the back. Oh my God. This is what is happening in church. You look who is who. The church. And Jesus said, do not judge by appearance. Do you think Satan can wear a bokat? Satan, if he's coming to church, he will wear expensive suits. And you put Satan forward. Just read another scripture. Look. 8 verse 15. Luca 8 15. I'm talking too much now. Luca 8 15. 15. 15. Honesty is needed. Hey, what's up? Luke 8 15. Yes. But as for that seed in the good soil, these are the ones who have heard the word with a good and noble heart 
and hold on to it tightly and bear fruits with patience. In fact, just tell your neighbor, bear fruit with patience. That is honesty. Taking the word and you hold it when you are facing all difficulties. You will bear fruits with patience. That is honesty. You allow all the process of God to be fulfilled and you have to be approved and also, that you are worthy for the, of that blessing. Allow all the process of God God to be more complete in you. When it's finished, that's little steps towards your destiny will bring fruits that remain. Honesty is needed. When the word of God enters you, you hold it and you allow the word of God to work in your life to produce the fruits. The time that has been taken away which looks like it's going back it's not going back. It's of bearing the fruit. Very soon you will see the fruit. If you are hearing me say i Don't rush to get the blessings. If there's a delay, do not worry. The problem is we want to be like other people. When things are not moving well, we say God has left us. This is the time that whatever is not worthy for you or is not coming right. When you are offered the denied, deny that. If you come to my office and you want to give me money, I ask, where did you get it? Number two, why are you giving me money? Number two, umpelang yona. You cannot give me money without explaining. Because I don't want your money to hinder another man. I was telling people that 1,000 can hinder 1 million. I don't know if you are hearing me. You know, taking your time, holding on, trusting that the world will bring will make you to have fruits. And those fruits will be there for you. Take your time. Allow God to finish his work. Just be honest with yourself. Manage what you have. God who sees the heart will honor you and he will bless you. Your time has been appointed. Your time has Na, been set. Everybody is having time that has been set. Been if nothing is happening now, doesn't mean that it won't happen in the future. You may not be seeing anything now, but very soon you can overtake someone. If you hear me say, I hear you. You may not be seeing anything now. Just be honest. God will take you there. No one will stop you. No one will block you. If you are hearing me say I'm hearing that The problem we have is Why are the people are prospering Why my business is not moving Why my things are not like this You are like that Because God wants to speak something about you Allow yourself to be like that Accept yourself the way you are. And the more you accept yourself, oh, is about to speak for you. If you believe, say amen. You know, Charis has been built with honesty. Honesty. 
When I'm wrong, I'm wrong. When I'm right, I'm right. I'm right, I'm right. I'm right. You don't need to justify yourself. You don't need to protect yourself. Allow God to do the rest. I pray that today God will give you a heart that won't rob yourself. Sometimes we rob ourselves. Sometimes we speak about others we to speak about ourselves. We are robbing ourselves. Sometimes we point others in other people's mistakes. Failing to rectify our mistakes. We are wasting our time. Just judge fairly. Tell about judge fairly. And God will lift you. God bless you. I still have many scriptures here. I just want to shorten the message to Because when I'm preaching here, I feel like I'm fighting spirits. There are spirits that normally come to fight us. You find you are, you are fighting spirits. And these spirits, they just want to make sure people, they don't hear the message. Let us all stand. 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 If you are not honest, you want to repent, come forward. Come and stand here. God loves you as you are coming. Come now. Don't look at anybody, you look at yourself. You don't need to look at your friend, look at yourself. Are you honest with yourself? You are wasting your time. You are tempering with your destiny. You are playing with your destiny. You are shortening your life. You are shortening your, your destiny. Your appointments. Where God is taking you. This is the time of lengthening it. You need to be restored. After this prayer, God is going to restore you. The joy of that salvation will come back to you. Listen, if you are outside of the road, when the blessing is on the road, it will never come your way. Even if it comes your way, you will never reach you. This is the time now that you tell yourself that I want to be honest. I want to be honest with myself. I'm not honest with myself. Somewhere, somewhere, I'm going out of if you are always praying, pray, oh, sorry, oh God. Forgive me. Oh, forgive me. Oh, forgive me. Papa, forgive me. You are out of the come back to the You will never pray that prayer again. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Come and pray with them. 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 Father, in the name of Jesus, I am coming back to you. I am running back to you. I've been dishonest along the road. I've been doing things not according to your word, but according to my understanding. But Father God, I am coming back to you today. Take me back as your own. Take me back as your son, as your daughter. I believe that as from today, I will live according to the word. I will do things according to the word. Let the Holy Spirit guide me in everything that I will be doing. From today onwards, I will follow you. I will serve you. I will worship you. I will stay in truth. I will be honest. Even if there is nobody, 
I will be honest in whatever I do. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for the grace that has fallen upon me, for the love that is overflowing in me. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. God bless you. Congratulations. God bless you.